Hi, um, so for our project, we wanted to look at the biodiversity of different aquatic ecosystems here in the Panama Canal area. So we chose certain sites that were more contained smaller pools of water, as well as other sites that were along the shore of the Chagres River um, connected to the Panama Canal. So what we decided to do was to dip net some of uh, these different sites that we found and examine things like substrate type, light intensity compared to a more open area, so basically the, the relative amount of cover for those sites. And then we took vertebrate and invertebrate uh, samples of the, uh, of the sites and identified them as far down as we could, which was mostly to class. And what I learned mostly from this experience was probably just about the general biodiversity here and its actual kind of similarity to a lot of more temperate ecosystems. I'd done some sampling in classes with other types of aquatic invertebrates and I was kind of surprised by the things that looked so similar and um, some of the other things that didn't. And I think that was probably the most interesting part of it. It would have been nice also to be able to identify down to a lower classification and it reminded me of how important taxonomy is because that's something that I usually prefer to not spend a lot of time on. So those were some of the more valuable lessons that I think I learned from this experience. I also uh, was really interested in a lot of the literature kind of concerning some of these uh, aquatic ecosystems in terms of more uh, larger bodies of water as well as smaller bodies of water. And I found some resources that kind of indicated that these smaller types of pools of water are not as well studied as a lot of more uh, of like larger streams and rivers and lakes and so that was something else that I hadn't thought a ton about before was how vital some of these smaller less obvious sources of water might be for aquatic and terrestrial biodiversity in different systems. In this tropical environment, two other interesting things that we kind of examined in our um, different biodiver biodiversity assays of our sites were uh, different size classes of a lot of organisms, which wasn't something that we ended up having enough uh, results and data over to really be able to tease any kind of meaningful interpretation out of, but that would have been something else interesting to look at, especially in um, tadpoles and snails and things where we might be able to assess different breeding periods based on the amount of rainfall and potentially when certain eggs were laid and when they hatch. And something else that also would be interesting to look at more closely that we sort of took notes on but didn't dig into were different substrate types like uh, clay and gravel on the shore and then different vegetative growth and um, leaf litter substrates and sandy material on the bottom of small ditch riverbeds. Uh, those are potential future things that might be interesting to look at here in this area. Overall, this is a very exciting and interesting research project. We got to see lots of different little organisms and Panama has been great.